guys, it's Joy, and uh, I've been introspecting again. <laughs> I have been for the last few days. Um, oh god, I've been diving into Peter Monville, Peter Mon World. <laughs> I've been doing research and gathering videos and you know responding to things and watching clips. And I've made a really shitty but necessary revelation. Some of you are gonna go, duh! <laughs> really joy but you know sometimes people are a bit dumb to things myself included why am i whispering i'm whispering to no one <laughs> but i've been thinking about something i know i'm joking and like being like peter wants to be the fucking white uh, you know white oprah of youtube and you know like you're a hypocrite you want to tell everybody how everybody else how to live but look at what you're doing blah 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 and i've been thinking about it and I've been wondering, am I like Peter? Maybe not to the same extreme, maybe not to the same intention, but when I was on YouTube before, and this is something I recognize, in fact, roommate and I would have talks about this, I think I could come across preachy. And you know what sucks? I didn't mean to. You can do behavior, you know, it's like you have like, you can do behaviors that are almost kind of weird habit that you don't realize you're doing, right? And I think sometimes I came across a little bit preachy about what we should do and how people should live their lives in X, Y, and Z. And Peter does that <laughs> a lot when he acts like an ass. And I remember people would kind of say that, except a lot of people said it a lot ruder and a lot different, and I didn't understand. But after what I went through on the internet and watching what Peter's going through and he, how he's reacting to it, I feel like I what a lot of people are trying to tell me now, I, I get more. I, I get it. I'm starting to get it. It sucks it took me this long. <laughs> but, and I want to kind of just talk about it and kind of explain where I was coming from and what my thoughts are now, you know? When I get into YouTube, I was in a, as you guys know, I was in a really dark place with illness, with no support, with all the fears that go around illness and am I even going to live and stuff. And I had been dealing with so many shady fucking awful people aside from roommate who's a fucking angel, obviously. Like my family, former friends, exes, you know, all kinds of stuff that I think I came onto YouTube as much as I tried to be positive, I came onto YouTube a little bit jaded in my opinion because I had seen so much awful in people in such a quick time span, and that happens to all of us, right? I'm not saying like, I'm the only one, but it happens to all of us, right? And, uh, actually, I'm about to go get sick, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Damn it, I was on a roll. Um, <sighs> Sorry, and afterward I get exhausted, but I'm grateful. It's not nearly as bad as what it used to be. Fuck yes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna catch my breath. I hate that when I get sick and I'm like, oh, I'm weak to chug some PD light and stuff. Um, what was it saying? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I just have to breathe afterward. Come on, body, we can do this. <laughs> so much better than it used to be, guys. Okay, I think I'm ready. So, I came on YouTube very jaded, very hurt, and because I didn't have, and I still don't, but I deal with it better now, I didn't have any life outside of YouTube because of the sick, me being sick and all of that. I think I may have projected what I was going through onto other people unintentionally. The other side of that was I was also covering some really awful dark topics. Like I was covering Onision and his crap and Daddy 5 and things like Austin Jones and pedophiles and... You know, I think because I felt dark, I kind of went dark and I was angry about my situations, which is something I recognize. Um, and I think unintentionally, I came across really preachy about how other people should live and what they should do. And granted, I think we all can have, we can all deserve to have and can have more kindness, compassion, and empathy to a degree. I think
think I projected what I was going through onto people, and I want to apologize if I did that. It wasn't intentional. And I think also, and this is what I think Peter's now experiencing, but he doesn't have the introspective skills to understand because he's too busy trying to keep his business and defend himself. Oh, don't get me started. <laughs> I think what happened was I tried to be the best person I could be in my worst situations. People saw that. It's the internet. People want to attack. People want to jump on. People want to accuse. People, and it was like, we got to take her down. And it was like, they kept, everybody kept trying these different angles, but it didn't work because like there wasn't a whole lot wrong with me except for a, you know, a sarcastic joking comment that people misunderstood and that I didn't really react too well, I guess. And, you know, just a few other things. There were other things that happened, but my point is to say, I think in what I was going through and the fact that I was covering really dark stuff, like people like Onision, right? People, like I said, pedophiles, Austin Jones. I think that I got kind of lost in and got really preachy, kind of telling people what to do. And it's, uh, it's really humbling and it's, it's hard but necessary to watch these videos of Peter and recognize elements of myself or maybe hopefully what is my former self in them. I don't think I'm as, I hope I wasn't as bad as he was. <laughs> like, I hope I wasn't that level because he still tried to remain nice and humble to a degree, but you know, I get it. It's like here I'm talking about, you know, everybody be nice and be your best selves. And then every so often you guys see me react weird because there's other things going on people didn't know about. And it's like, Joy, what the fuck are you doing? You know, I get, I get it. I get it. And sometimes it was just on my own merit that I didn't react well to something, you know? I get that too. I can understand how it looked hypocritical. And granted, there was a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. I think that I had issues in my past with being preachy and judgy. Judgy. I don't think judgy is a word, is it? <laughs> and maybe I'm still like that a little bit. And I do think to a degree, there is a degree of right is right and wrong is wrong, right? I mean, even though like that's also relative to people's experiences and culture and all kinds of stuff, but when I look back, I realize that, like, I watch videos of Peter over talking people, interrupting, which I can interrupt somebody. I really try to be better at that. <laughs> I really do. Um, getting aggressive. I watch some of the things I'm talking about with him, and I realize these are things I've also done. My hope, I hope I haven't been as bad as him. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. But, you know, I'm calling out people I think are hypocritical, and I'd be a hypocrite to not look at maybe the aspects of myself that I see in those two. And maybe it's not a smart idea to put this out, honestly, but you know, maybe this is a dumb idea for my business, but you know what? Yeah, I'm here to make money. Like I said, I need money to survive, but I'm going to be me. The, at least the version of me of who I am right now. We're always changing and growing. Well, some people aren't. I try to. A lot of other people try to. Most people do to a degree. And it would be a hypocrite not to try to have some self-reflection and perspective into my own behaviors. You know? I mean, it's one thing when I've got like, jam it on and we're like, I'm just g giggling at him because he's silly, right? But like, I, I have some Peter Mon tendencies. I don't think, now I know I'm not controlling in the way he is and like, everybody has to do what I say or I'm gonna blah, 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 blah. I, I don't think I do that stuff, right? But and they're just little, there are things about him and his mannerisms and his personality where I'm like, I have to recognize that I can, I can be like that too. Or that I have been like that. And I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be the person judging and telling you how to live your life. I think we should all strive to be better people, but at the same time, if that's not what you want, as long as you're not hurting anybody else, that's your fucking choice, you know? So if I at all came across judgmental or preachy. I do. I really do apologize. It's not like, I'm really sorry. Cause that's that was never my intention, but there's a line, isn't there? There's a line between calling people out for their bad behaviors because in essence, isn't that telling somebody how to live? But if people, I think, and I think this is where, where's the line, right? And I think the line is when people's unhealthy behaviors, become destructive for other people. Like if you want to be destructive to yourself, that sucks. 
but that's your choice, right? And hopefully you get help for that. But as long as you're not hurting other people or yourself to a large degree, then you be who you need to be and take the time to do that, you know? I shouldn't judge or push somebody to be somewhere because I'm there and I feel lonely or I'm going through something. And I can't say I'm going to make any changes overnight because honestly, this is something I'm just understanding and sometimes it takes me a while, but it's something I want to be aware of. And again, like I said, right is right is wrong and wrong is wrong in my opinion. And there are times where I feel like if I need to call something out, I will call it out and tell you your behavior is shitty. Don't be a shitty person. But I don't want to be preachy about it. I don't, I want people to walk away feeling better about themselves, not worse. And if I ever did that, it wasn't my intention and I apologize. So yeah, just some stuff I'm thinking about. <laughs> That's all. So, I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think that I'm, I have tendencies of Peter Mon? Do you think I'm spot on the money? Do you think I'm not? Am I, like, I don't know. What do you think of where I'm at in my head with it? Maybe, you know, I'm, I'm still processing it. But I thought I would be a hypocrite not to share some of my feelings and my findings and my thoughts with you guys um, when I've been going so hard at him. And if Peter Mon ever sees this, or y'all talk to Peter, Peter, if you're watching, and I'm not saying that you are, but if you ever do, this is what real introspection looks like which is something, I feel like Peter, what I've seen from him lately is I'm studying him. It's just like, he'll, he'll go and he'll be like, oh my God, guys. So I read this book on meditation and now I'm Oprah and I'm gonna teach you guys about meditation. Ugh! And it just seems like he doesn't, like he does actions for the sake of doing them but doesn't really fully internalize it. Does that make sense? It's almost like, I'm doing this. I'm doing this right now. Not because I'm getting the lesson from it or it's helping me change it so I can teach you something. That's how it comes across to me and I think other people. Um, so Peter, if you're watching this, this is what introspection looks like. It's taking a lot of quiet time, a lot of self-reflecting, a lot of going, you know, really looking at the dark shit. Because something I noticed about Peter is he did apologize to Paige, but he didn't really apologize for the shitty behaviors. Like when she would say like, you're cutting me off. You're being rude. You're too abrasive. You're too this. He would just roll his eyes and like, act like he acted like he didn't even give a shit about what she had to say and never apologized for that. When she called him out, he just seemed irritated. Peter, that's not introspection. That's you being defensive and trying to save your own ass. This is what introspection looks like. Or, you know, what is that being preachy? Was that hypocritical? Is it? But at the same time, if that's his, if that's an issue I see with him, I have a right to give commentary on it, don't I? <laughs> I don't know. That's just what I wanted to say. That's it. So, let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like if you want. Subscribe if you're new. Probably not because it's more vlog type thing. Um, and hit the notification bell. I appreciate it. And that's it. Let me know what you guys think I am. I'm really curious. Y'all know I get in the comments and I look. So, and that's the thing. A lot of people think that I don't care about your guys' opinions. I'm in the comment section. I, I look at what you guys write and I take it in. I do, I take it in. I don't always talk about it, but I do. I, I do that in my quiet time. So yeah, I'm probably not gonna do too many of these. I mean, if you like them, I can. But uh, you know, cause that's, this is like the introspective part of me is more like my quiet time to process. But if you like to hear more, maybe I can open up to some of them. I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's it. I love you guys. Take care of you. Bless in yourselves and bless in others. Continue to try to find the door that sparkles with the bullshit in the world. And uh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. I have more uh, processing and thinking to do. Okay. Love you guys. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.